Hey, how's it going? It's your man Essex-J. I'm back with a uh, showcase for the new Ruston, Hijack Ruston, the new vehicle come out today, Import-Export DLC, it's released this morning at half 10 UK time. See the price there? Relatively cheap at 430,000. It's a sports car, not a supercar. Looks pretty nice. Curious to see how it looks with the mods on. I'm going to order this little honey in yellow, I think. I'll just start from there. And yeah, we're going to head over to the garage and wait for it to arrive. So, by the way, the uh, all the low rider dupes, the retro energy dupes in the CR garage, that's all patched. Don't waste your money there anymore. The solo streetcar duplication glitch, that's been patched as well. There's no current workarounds as it stands, but when there are, I'll bring them over to you as soon as possible. So subscribe now, keep up to date, and as soon as they come out, I'll let you know. There's a few of the leftover remnants of what I was doing over the weekend. Just for example, didn't make any money, of course. It's just to notify Rockstar of these glitches, because we're good like that, aren't we, as a community? We let them know these things. Oh, yeah. So here it is, the Hijack Ruston. It's arrived. And uh, pretty nice, sleek looking car. If you like open top cars, there's not many in the game that are fixed open top, so it's quite interesting. And I'm going to take it up and show you some of the mods that can be applied to it. quickly rechange the colour to white on this because it shows up the detail a little bit more on the uh, the shape of the bumpers and stuff so you can see a little bit clearer. Just run through a double speed but you should be able to see everything nice and clear and uh, see what you like. Anyway apparently there's a uh, new low rider dupe coming out this Friday. We we'll won't see what happens on that. Sometimes people say these things just to get subscribers then at the last minute they, they fail for some reason. I hope it does though, I hope it's genuine. And. Uh, Apparently it's working on Xbox fine at the moment. Uh, PS4 may be a problem. But I'm sure as soon as it comes out, if they haven't found a workaround for the PS4 yet, someone will fairly quickly, hopefully before it gets patched. Because it's the only trouble with announcing tubes coming up in the future. It's great for trying to gain subscribers and views, but you're also giving Rockstar a heads up to put a little team of overpaid uh, workers out that night to try and dupe it, whether it be a Friday night or not. So we'll see how, last, how long that lasts, if it does come out Friday night, we'll see if it's still standing by Monday. It has been that way in the past, but as we know Rockstar have tightened up their strings re uh, belts recently and they're really getting on the case of social media and finding out about these glitches and patching them ultra fast. So we'll see what happens there, fingers crossed to the guy that developed it, I hope it goes well. In the meantime, if, like I say, if a solo street rider, solo street car tube does come out, then I'll let you guys know ace as soon as possible. And also, I'll be um, publishing the new low rider glitch as soon as that comes out. I've put pretty much everything on this now. It's coming up to everything. I'm going to do the usual and put it on the um, what's it called? The track cutting corners and put it up against two other cars in the same class. That's the Fister Comet, fully upgraded, the Porsche looking car. And then I'm also going to put it up against the Skyline, the Retro Elegy, and see how they compare for times. Just to give you a clue just how fast this new car is. So here's the Comet Fister, Fister Comet. And that does the uh, course in 111. Next up, I'm going to be running around the Retro Elegy, which we know is a fast car. This is a hard one to beat for anything in, its same, in the same class as this, in the sports class. So I'm flinging this around the track. Not the best driver in the world, but it's me doing all three. Um, courses, all three laps, so it should be a fairly consistent time. 
that comes that goes around in one minute and four seconds. So a good seven seconds quicker than the Comet Fister. And now the hijack Ruston. I haven't sped this up so you can just see roughly how it handles. I'll say it's a nice looking car, it's, it's quite different from a lot of the other vehicles in here so it could be worth a purchase just for that reason alone. And hopefully you guys, if you've been following my channel and doing my recent uh, glitches that I've put out there, then you'll have the money to easily purchase one of these. And that's gone around in 110. I hear a couple of posts, you could probably knock a, uh, a second off of that, to be quite honest. So, not quite as quick as the Retro Elegy, but it's faster than the uh, Porsche, fully upgraded. So it's not a bad moving car, handles quite well. Looks the business. And if you were doing my glitches recently, you'll have lots of money to buy one of these, you lucky pluckers. So get one, enjoy it. And I'll see you on the streets of Los Santos soon. Hit subscribe if you haven't done already. Don't remember to tap the little notification bell next to it. And you'll get instant notification of my latest news, tips, glitches and info on GCA5. Take it easy and I'll speak to you soon.